Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Life in Ukraine. My name is Elena and I'm an expat living and working in Odessa. I rent for the long term, but most of you who come here to Odessa, especially for the summer, look for rent for the weekend, the week or at most a month. And in this episode, I wanted to cover just that. How much does it cost to rent? on the short term, how do apartments for the short term look like and what are some interesting and hidden conditions that you need to know about. Let's go! First of all, I am going to do a tour of this apartment. Now, if you have watched my previous videos, you know that we had a three bedroom apartment for the long term. We decided to move to a smaller apartment and that's how we went back to Arcadia. Arcadia is a typical uh, touristic neighborhood. The locals don't like it, but the tourists like it because it's so close to the sea. So we'll start with the bedroom, which is uh, the biggest room in this apartment and the only bedroom. So usually in Western Europe slash America, they call this apartment a one bedroom apartment. And in Eastern Europe, this is a two room apartment because there's another room combined with the kitchen. It's a very standard bedroom. I would say like it's really good quality. And during the last couple of years, I feel like the apartments that are given for rent are really good quality. I'm not a big fan of the style, to be honest, like the glamour does not really resonate with me, but we found it at a very reasonable price. One bed, two bedside tables, very nice mirrors, although I don't know how much we use them. Uh, then some power sockets, um, a smart TV. Usually those are not connected to the television, but if you want to watch Ukrainian TV, you can definitely reach out to your host and um, ask them to connect the TV. Uh, Odessa is very hot, especially during the summer. So when you're renting something, make sure there is an AC. Uh, the interesting thing about this apartment is there is only one AC and it's located in the corridor. I'm not completely sold on the style, but I can say that the overall quality uh, of the work and the walls and the furniture is really good here. As you saw, there was no wardrobe in the bedroom. That's because all of the clothes are comfortably hid here. This is super, super useful, especially if you come with luggages and you, you know, you just don't want to put them on the bedroom floor. This is ideal. Um, we have divided Eugene's clothes and my clothes in two piles. Here we put things that um, we might use in some time, like, you know, a hat for going out and stuff. It is very comfortable to have all your clothes in a separate small storage room. And I feel like this is a general trend with the newer apartments that I saw. They designate a space where you could keep your stuff so it doesn't clutter all your space. Uh, this is the corridor and basically you can see there are four small spaces, the wardrobe, uh, the bedroom that we already saw. Uh, there is an AC located here, which is kind of cool because the cold air circulates from here into the bedroom and into the kitchen. ACs in the summer will be the number one thing to check. Number two thing to check is the internet. Um, if possible, just ask from the host straight away what's the internet speed, because we have stayed in some apartments that had just a deplorable speed and it was just not possible to work. The internet was disconnecting all the time. The second room, and I was having thoughts about it because usually in Eastern Europe, uh, a room is considered something that is not the kitchen and that is not the bathroom. Here we have like a kitchen studio with the living room, uh, a very big table, a couple of beautiful candle holders slash bottles, Odessa style. As I said, not a big fan of the design, but hey, big table, four chairs, um, the kitchens come fully equipped with everything that you might need. Uh, there is a microwave, there is a stove, there is an oven. Um, this apartment has a washing machine. I feel like washing machines are a must in all Eastern European apartments, but a dryer is very uncommon. So usually what happens, there's the stretcher on which you can put all the wet clothes and usually put it on the balcony to dry. Um, it takes some time, not always comfortable, some dust settles on it, but that's just how Eastern Europe works. Uh, apartments come with plates and cutlery, 
so you can live here for you know a week or two without needing to buy anything usually these apartments are found on uh, Airbnb and um, the typical cost for them in the summer is from 1000 to 2000 grivnas. Obviously, there are cheaper ones, there are more expensive ones, depending on your taste and the proximity to the sea and the views and so many other factors. But I think 1000 to 2000 grivnas, it's basically the standard. So in dollars, that would be like 30 to 70 uh, US dollars. If there are a lot of people who want to rent the apartment, obviously, the price goes up so my advice would be to definitely book it in advance this is like the living room area there's the sofa and another interesting thing about eastern european apartments if you see a sofa this is a transformer sofa that turns into a bed we don't lose any space here <laughs> because apartments are pretty small you can't afford a big apartment so you know this one turns into a, like a bigger bed another tv the second one here and if you mind to come here i just want to show you the view the view is fantastic we see a tennis court we see the city there's a nice church here and obviously the sea this is like what you would pay top dollars for it's just gorgeous and just in front of us there's another building um, the distance is I would say it's not very small, but it's not very big either. And it's one of the main complaints that locals have about Arcadia, that the buildings are so tight, so packed, like there's no, <laughs> no place to, uh, what's it, to drop uh, a needle? Is that so? Well, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. The last thing that I want to show you is obviously the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom is gorgeous. Typical bathroom with uh, a shower. I feel like the older apartments usually have bathtubs, but here, because it's a new one, not so much space, we have a shower. If this would have been an Airbnb, we would have gotten shampoo and shower gel and so on and so forth. The apartments usually come with um, a blow dryer. So this is the one that we got here. We came with ours, so I don't think we'll be using it. Obviously, set of towels. Um, you can always ask for more if you need to. The bathroom is probably the room that I enjoy most. I feel like this really posh style works out best here because it really gives you a look of cleanliness. And look here, I have extra light on the mirror. Again, I've seen it in a lot of the newer apartments, like everything is done so that you have a good experience, you enjoy the apartment and you can do all the things that you need. I think we covered everything. Uh, last thing that I wanted to mention is kind of, uh, okay, so 1,000 to 2,000 grivnas is the per day price. What if you want to rent it per month? Generally, an apartment like this, which is like one bedroom apartment, goes in the summer season for 450 US dollars per month plus amenities. So amenities come separately depending on how much you spend. But this same apartment, again, depending on the owner's wishes, uh, how many people want to rent the apartment, can go up to almost 700 US dollars per month plus amenities. So it is very, it, it's a very steep price. Just to compare it, if you rent a three bedroom apartment off season, let's say December or January or February, a three bedroom apartment would cost you 550, 600 US dollars. I feel like this is still a steep price, but hey, the touristic season, if you want to be in Odessa, probably you have to pay for it. Otherwise, I think, the autumn, September, October are two months that are ideal, the weather is not too hot and you can still get a, an awesome experience and maybe even bathe in the sea if you're not too afraid of the cold. Well, I hope this video was interesting and most of all useful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and I'm waiting for you in the next video. See you, bye-bye.